Yo, 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 good morning, good evening, wherever you're at in the world. Welcome to Cryptocurrency Theory. My name is Chadwick. And guys, I have a few questions for the community as well as I want to address, uh, you know, we have this this um, this Bitcoin Cash upgrade um, basically happening in the next 18 hours approximately. Um, so there's a, there's a counter here. I'll drop that in the description bar. But what I want to uh, kind of address, guys, I am going to be dropping um, Jeremy from the Bitcoin Cash podcast. I did a live stream uh, this week. Go back and watch it if you haven't watched it yet. Show your support for Jeremy. Join his camp channel. Subscribe, like, all that stuff. Um, he's going to be giving you more of a very technical aspect and address to this uh, upcoming um, upcoming upgrade to the Bitcoin Cash network, the Bitcoin Cash node software, that kind of stuff. So rather than this episode being totally about um, the stuff that likely you've already seen on um, his channel since he does cover pretty much everything going on in Bitcoin Cash. I'd rather this channel uh, or this episode uh, be more geared towards some of my own questions as well as um, give you kind of a brief overview on price, Bitcoin Cash, that kind of thing. So, um, I mean, this this cash, cash tokens thing, guys, is simply a game changer. I mean, the smart the implement in implementation of smart contracts with the Ethereum, uh, the way Ethereum does ERC twenty and smart ERC twenty tokens and smart contracts does give Bitcoin Cash a very competitive edge since our fees are much lower, our um, our upgrades to our networks and uh, things like this happen much quicker. And I even know this this cash tokens thing is uh, my reference uh, is an ongoing thing that's been happening for the last two years. Uh, it has finally uh, well we we're going to be happening here in the next eighteen hours. So it's it's definitely happening. Um, but really, the, the whole beauty behind all of this stuff is the fact that it will give us a competitive edge against some of these other um, smart contract platforms like Ethereum, um, uh, NEO, all these, all these different platforms that, um, you know, the fees are much uh, different, much higher, um, that kind of thing. And the way, that, the, the way that cash tokens, I think, will do this is simply because we will have the ability in the future to bridge our smart contract tokens in between other blockchains. And this is already happening on things like Ethereum, Solana, uh, and other cryptocurrencies. And it's only a matter of time, if not immediately, uh, we will start seeing the move towards uh, these tokens being able to be uh, cross-chain compatible and that kind of thing. And um, I don't want to sit here, guys, and pretend that I'm a uh, technical expert. So I don't want to talk myself into a corner because uh, I, I might be guys giving you guys the wrong information. But I do have a couple things that I have been looking at with Bitcoin Cash that I do want to ask the community if you guys have noticed any of these things, if these things maybe appear odd to you, uh, that kind of thing. And um, first off, you know, I've been kind of looking at Bitcoin Cash volume recently, and I noticed that OKEX, the volume has dropped very considerably um, with uh, Bitcoin Cash. Now, I don't know if this has to do with, you know, uh, a couple months ago, OKEX was expanding into other territories. I don't know if their subsidiary companies uh, rebranded some of their exchanges. So please let me know if uh, you guys have any more information about this and let the Bitcoin Cash community uh, know as well. Because we, uh, you know, when I see stuff like this and I see almost 15% uh, of the volume missing on Bitcoin Cash, OKEX being the lead volume trader for Bitcoin Cash um, um, and that kind of thing, I start to get a little bit worried. You know, I start to be like, you know, what, what's going on? Not worried in a sense that the Bitcoin Cash is gone or anything like that. I'm not saying that Big, uh, OKEX is not doing uh, Bitcoin Cash uh, trading volume, but we, if you go back and you watch an episode that I made back in two months ago, um, it was about OKEX expansion and how it could positively, positively influence Bitcoin Cash. You'll see uh, that, um, and I'm looking at it right here. I don't have it on my, uh, let's see if it's coming up on the uh, computer screen here, but uh, looks like um, looks like the OKEX volume has dropped significantly, guys. I mean, we were doing uh, you know, I know, and I realize the price has been fluctuating, that kind of thing. But, but basically, um, you know, with this this volume, I mean, we were looking at about forty five million dollars worth of volume on OKEx under spot trading. Under, uh, it's roughly accounted for about fourteen percent. Um, you know, and, and and Binance was only doing about seventeen. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, a five percent, which is roughly about seventeen million. And this was when we were at prices of $143. So I do understand that the, the prices were you know, obviously higher, that kind of thing. But it is a big sharp decrease in volume on OKEx because if we look at OKEx now, um, just you know, simply, um, and this is simply where we're at right now with all this stuff, um, the, the OKEx volume has basically, um, 
basically uh, gone down. And um, I'm pulling that up for you right here to give you an idea of where, where I'm going with this, uh, that kind of thing. So if you notice, OKEx, like I said, it was doing about 45 million, almost $46 million worth of volume under spot trading, under markets, under the same tab I'm under on the other, on this other screen I'm gonna to switch to, under Tether. Um, and that volume has basically, uh, you know, it's a confidence rating of moderate, but you know, who cares about all that, right? We're, we're pretty confident it was, it was happening. And um, as we see, it's kind of, uh, it, it's kind of changed. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's much different now. So if I, go under, if I go under Bitcoin cash markets, I go to spot trading, you'll see that Binance is doing about, uh, you know, the, the price is down, guys. I mean, the price is at $114, but, you know, the Binance is now kind of the leader in volume, uh, that kind of thing. And I'm just trying to figure out where the hell did the OKEx volume go? Did they like, did they create another exchange that I'm not aware about, uh, like a subsidiary company that, I mean, I feel like I know every single one of these exchanges. So I'm just kind of curious about this. The perpetual swaps, the volume is still happening, um, you know, 11%, but it's happening more on Binance, so it's at 55 million. And unfortunately, I don't know that I, I covered the perpetual swaps on uh, the last video I did back two months ago. But this is uh, very interesting to me, guys. I, I don't know, uh, and maybe if, if there's something I'm missing here, but if you do have any information about where the OKEx volume went, um, why it has shrank down significantly, and um, you know, I understand the price of the, this stuff doesn't affect the volume and. You know, more people would want to enter trades and positions uh, if they feel like the price is going up, that kind of thing. But it does seem to be a, uh, a very sharp decrease. And uh, it's not even pulling OKEx up under the spot trading anymore, but it does come up on WorldCoin Index. Uh, but I feel like this is probably covering maybe even uh, the perpetual swap side of stuff. And it's about 2.5 million. So, uh, you know, 13 million. So I'm just not real sure what's going on here, guys. If you guys could throw it in the chat, let me know. I am curious about it. Maybe maybe it was a glitch on the uh, the the coin market cap side. Maybe it's a an ongoing glitch with the hard fork. Maybe they have or the uh, with the upgrade that kind of thing. Maybe it's it's just on pause and maybe I can look up here. Uh, I haven't been looking at this every single day, so maybe I'll look up here in a day or two uh, once this this uh, upgrade is uh, completed and everything's running back smooth. And I might have a ch uh, a different thought. But as of right now, I'm kind of just a little bit what the fuck. And uh, you know where did all this volume go? That kind of thing. So we'll see if this this um, upgrade has any effect on Bitcoin Cash price. We have seen an in uh, a increase in price on Bitcoin Cash today. I know it's not a lot. Uh, we have been tra uh, going up on Bitcoin, and is if we can just go up a little above this 0 0.045, and then we go a little bit farther, you know, we'll kind of break this this little three month cycle of downtrending, and then hopefully. You know, we'll go back up above 0 0.006 here back about a month and a half ago when we were at, I think, around 140 US dollars. So, you know, down for the year, down for the five year. But, uh, you know, I'm definitely optimistic about Bitcoin Cash, guys. You guys know it's my favorite, one of my favorite coins. And, um, you know, we've seen increase in Bitcoin SV price today. We've seen an increase in Litecoin price today. So just seeing an overall increase in the peer-to-peer uh, -peer payment side of coins, I think that is a good thing for crypto in general. Uh, as we go into this this upgrade for Bitcoin Cash, so guys, I wanted to do a quick little update. Um, you know, a lot of things happening in crypto, a lot of things happening with everybody right now. So we'll see kind of how this stuff plays out on Bitcoin Cash price after we, you know, the next 18 hours, we'll kind of let the uh, the dust settle here, and everything should be going uh, really good for Bitcoin Cash here over the next months, years, decades, um, and uh, beyond. So uh, we'll stay in it, guys. We'll talk to you soon. We're going to do, be doing a lot more videos here this upcoming week. Uh, this week's kind of been a, uh, a bogged down a little bit on my side, but uh, we will be we will be exploding into the next week next week in terms of uh, this channel, and we'll kind of see where where we we lay on all these new upgrades, new halvings. I mean, we got Zcash, we got Dash, we got Litecoin, we got all these halvings and reductions coming up. We got the Hong Kong thing coming up. We got a lot of stuff that we're going to be covering on this channel, guys. Uh, and in crypto in general. And we got kind of all this crap out of the way. We got Terra Luna and FTX. That stuff's just under the rug. That rug's already been pulled. Uh, and we have moved on. And these prices have been uh, steadily rising on Bitcoin Core uh, here recently, but basically since the FTX collapse. So I'm not real concerned about the price. I know that the price is, is not really the best right now. But on the flip side, we have a lot of improvements that are happening. And, um, you know, we are preparing for the next party, guys. Everybody left the party back last year. I mean, that was the final, you know, we were we were at four o'clock in the morning and the last drunks finally 
uh, left our home and they went back to uh, their homes and, and the party has ended. It's just us here now, guys. There's nobody else here. Um, in my personal opinion, I think that we are likely, um, since the FTX collapse, since the Terra Luna collapse, since we had all this stuff with Voyager, Celsius, and all this stuff, um, you know, all this stuff that has happened over the last two two years, um, this party is has been over for some time. So if you guys are still here, you're basically at the after party uh, for the last year almost, coming up on a year. Um, and and we, are, we are at the after party, guys, and we're about to just take a quick little break here, and we're about to explode in uh, to the next quarter, the next year, five years, ten years, uh, in, in future decades, uh, not only on this channel, but in cryptocurrency, uh, specifically price. And, um, you know, the upgrades have all been done kind of in the off season. So we've been having this kind of off season, uh, you know, with the price being down, but all these upgrades happening. And um, I'm very, very uh, confident that the competition will uh, become increasingly evident over the next couple months, years and decades. Uh, now that we are getting uh, the stuff that we need in line and we are seeing the decouple pumps against Bitcoin Core on these peer to peer payment stuff, coins and stuff like that. So guys, a quick update. I'll let you go for now. We'll, we'll be doing a lot more videos this week, a lot more live streams, and I uh, look forward to that. So I hope everybody has a remaining uh, relaxing evening. If you're waking up in Asia on Monday, have a great Monday, Sunday, wherever you're at in the world. And we'll catch you in the next video.